Do you struggle with close range fights in Warzone? Well, I have the solution for you. With this simple change to my loadout, I managed to almost double my KD from 1.2 to 2.1. For a long time, I've always struggled with close range fights. And being honest, I lost the majority of them. And I expect you're in a similar boat. For a long time, I actually just solved this by using shotguns. And I'd go as far to say I was probably one of the better shotgun players in Warzone. However, they always had their limits. And since most of them have been nerfed into the ground, they're all pretty much beyond useless now, especially when comparing them to SMGs. And due to this, I went back to losing the majority of my close range fights again. However, since I made this one simple change to my loadout, I've been winning the majority of these close range fights again. And not only has this increased my win ratio massively, my KD has almost doubled too. The one simple change I made is switching to a hipfire SMG build. Not only does this make tracking your enemies a lot easier, it means you don't have to spend that extra time aiming down sight too. On top of this, it allows you to have a wider field of view, allowing you just to be more aware of your surroundings. Not only am I going to tell you the best gun to use for this method, I will also let you know the best beginner, mid-level and fully leveled attachments for the gun to help you get more kills at every stage of leveling this gun up. For the SMG of choice, we are taking the Vanguard PPSH. Not only because there are some great hit fire builds, but because it has an insanely high rate of fire and magazine size, meaning you can afford to miss a few shots and still kill your enemies with plenty of bullets to spare. For the early level attachments, we'll be taking the following ones on screen now. However, do not take the following attachment slots. For the muzzle, we won't take anything here as the first option just reduces your sprint to fire speed and hit fire accuracy, which aren't areas you want to impact on an SMG. For the underbarrel, we're not taking anything here either, as the first option just reduces your sprint to fire speed, which is a really vital area that you don't want to impact on an SMG. And now let's move over to the mid-level attachments. Take the following ones on screen now, maintaining a focus on sprint to fire speed, hit fire accuracy, and increasing its rate of fire. It's always worth taking surplus on perk two from the moment you unlock it, as it increases the weapon XP gain by around 20%, meaning you're gonna unlock the rest of the attachments a lot quicker. And now let's move on to the fully leveled attachments. For the muzzle, take the recoil booster for its increased rate of fire, allowing you to kill your enemies much faster. As a side note, the fire rate is always really important on hip fire builds as you're unlikely to hit every single shot whilst hip firing, so it really lessens the impact of your time to kill. For the barrel, take the Kovaleskaya 230mm B03P for increased hip fire accuracy and increased rate of fire. For the optic, take the SVT 40 PU scope 3 to 6 times zoom for increased accuracy. The reason we're not taking any low zoom optics for this build is because its recoil is insanely difficult to control when aiming down sight, so you want to be taking the optic with the most other benefits which is this one for the stock take the remove stock to increase hip fire accuracy movement speed and sprint to fire speed the last two are really important on an smg as you want to be as mobile as possible and sprint to fire speed is really important as you don't want to be caught out with a massive delay between you sprinting and being able to fire at your enemies for the under barrel take the m1915 steady for increased hip fire accuracy for the magazine take the 8 millimeter nambu 71 round mags for increased rate of fire recoil control accuracy and a larger magazine magazine size. A larger magazine is always particularly important for hip fire builds with high rate of fire as it stops you having to reload as often meaning you can take on multiple enemies at once. For the ammo type take the hollow point for increased limb damage which is important on a hip fire build as when you are hip firing you're not as accurate as ADS meaning you will hit some enemy limbs from time to time in fact in most fights so this will just improve your overall time to kill. For the rear grip take the fabric grip for increased sprint to fire speed and hip fire accuracy. For perk one take tight grip for increased accuracy and recoil control during sustained fire and for perk 2 take quick or fully loaded quick allows you to sprint much faster making you more mobile but fully loaded is great as this gun just burns through ammo so having all that extra ammo when you grab your loadout is really great Personally, I prefer to take quick as I find SMG ammo really easy to come across. And if you can't find any, teammates are usually really happy just to throw you a couple of stacks. So I don't usually run into any ammo issues there. You can see the full build on the screen now. But if you did enjoy this video, hit that like button. And if you'd like to see a video for the best assault rifle in Warzone with almost a 15% quicker time to kill than the Automaton and Cooper Carbine, click on the video on screen now.